been thinking a lot recently about how crazy it is out there these days. Um, you know, really how activated and angry and upset people are. And, um, and what I've been thinking about is this, I've seen this in organizations, I'm seeing this in the streets, I'm seeing this, uh, you know, play out in the political landscape and the world global landscape. And, you know, one of the things that I was thinking about as I'm in terms of this work, in terms of relationship and connection and communication and like what is going on? And I think that a big part of this has to do with the way that our world beliefs are kind of invisible to us. You know, we, we have these worldviews, we have these ideas about what matters, right? How the world should work, how it does work actually. Like it's a really strong belief and we don't have language for it anymore. Like we don't really talk about it. it. Used to be you would talk about it in religious terms, but we don't really as a whole seem to do that as much anymore. So as a result, it's like these, um, these principles or these assumptions about, you know, what, what's going on with people, what's happening in the world, that we have these assumptions, these beliefs, and they really factor into how we behave or how we respond. So let's say, for example, you believe that um, the world is made up of good people and bad people, right? Let's say you think, you know, there are good people and bad people. Well, you may not actually verbalize that, right? You might actually might not even actually say out loud that this is a guiding belief to how you sort people in the world. And as a result, we never actually question when we say this person's a bad person and this person's a good person, what are we actually basing that off of, right? What are we actually, and when someone, we, someone that we've decided is a bad person, and someone's like, well, they're not that bad, we can get really upset about it. Like, no, 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 this is a terrible, terrible, terrible person. Like we double down and triple down on the idea that this person is a terrible person, this is an evil person, or this group of people are evil. And the problem is that is that we have to like not know them, we have to not be challenged. We become really fragile in this, or, or brittle even in this way, defended, myopic, right? Like we can't see what's going on. So I think the challenge really is for us as human beings is to ask the question, like, how, what am I holding on to here? Am I willing to have my core beliefs, my strongest held beliefs, am I willing to have them challenged? Am I willing to have them challenged? Am I willing to be challenged in this way? Not so much because I want to like, you know, fight them back, but mostly because I don't want to be clean to something that may not be serving this moment. I find that certain beliefs work in certain situations, but not in every situation. And, and the more flexible we are, the more open we are, the more our minds are open to understanding the ways that we limit ourselves, the ways that we might make assumptions about how the world works or how we work in the world and how we might get stuck and how that might cause problems out there. And the more flexible and the more open, the more aware I am of this, the easier it is actually to sort of work and integrate and, and metabolize all the information we're getting that doesn't fit in with those beliefs. You know, I think in some ways, what I'm saying is that if you can open your mind and you can show that you can be challenged in this way, you can listen without defensive, you don't get angry, or at least you notice that you're getting angry and you recognize that that's just your, your identity, your core belief being challenged. If I can settle that down a little bit, even question like, what am I really angry about here? What am I really losing here? If I can do that, I can actually be a leader in a different way. I can show that it's possible to open your heart. I can show it's possible to, to open my mind. I can show a way, right? I don't have to agree necessarily with everything. I don't have to do everything that the other person's saying, but I get to open up a door. Maybe this person isn't such a bad person. Maybe there are things that they do that are bad, but maybe I don't have to like necessarily 
categorize them as bad. Or maybe this person is better than I thought they were. Or maybe I just don't know, really. Because isn't that ultimately the place that we want to get to is just like, maybe I just don't know. We don't do well with uncertainty. We have a belief on some level that we're supposed to figure it out. And I think that's getting in the way of our ability to be in space with each other, to connect with each other. So check with yourself. See if you can tell what are my assumptions? What are my world beliefs? How do those drive my behaviors? What way do I get really defensive? And can I question those? Can I soften those? Can I become more expansive in my thinking? Can I open my heart? Can I open my heart? Yeah, give it a try. Let me know what you think. Uh, you can always re reach me at Seth at SethRidoletti.com and just let me know what's going on. Thanks very much.